What's going on everyone? Uh, for those of you who I haven't had the chance to meet before, uh, my name is Kyle Egan and I was a linebacker in the class of 2019. I just want to start by thanking Coach Matt and all of you guys for allowing me to have the opportunity to speak with you ahead of tomorrow's game. Um, and I'd be remiss if I didn't congratulate you all on what's been an amazing season so far. I, I still watch the games when I can and I've just been extremely proud and impressed with everything you guys have done. It's been a lot of fun to watch you guys, and, and yeah, like I said, it, I've just been extremely proud of everything you've accomplished already this year. However, none of that success is going to feel like it matters as much if we don't finish the job tomorrow. And when we talk about finishing, we are talking about bringing something to an end, but I want to talk about a couple of different deeper applications um, with you guys, uh, and, and there's two that I want to share with you. So the first is a more broad view, and, and it deals with the culmination of everything you've done to get you to this point right now. You know, all those early mornings in the summer, all the hours in the weight room, all the hours on the practice field and heat camp and training camp, all the hours watching film of practice, watching opponents film, you know, that all coming to fruition in the form of achieving your goals, right? So you've all worked way too hard throughout the whole year to let this thing slip through at the last game. You've all worked way too hard all year to not see it through, seize the moment, take control and finish the job. The other is a more direct view, and it's applicable to life and football, um, and it's, it, it deals with how you respond when the going gets tough, right? And, and I'm going to present you guys with, a, with a, an equation. Um, some of you may have heard it before, some of you may have not, but it's E plus R equals O, right? And this, like I said, this is applicable beyond football. This is applicable for me at work, you know, in life, whatever the case may be. Um, but, but the E stands for events, right? And the events, we, we don't have control over the events. We can't control the events. So if we look at it through a football lens, right, you know, something something is going to go wrong tomorrow night. And that's that's part of football. It, it happens, right? Something will go wrong. You know, they, they might make a big play. The, the refs might miss a penalty. We know whatever the case may be, something will go not according to plan. Um, but, but once those things happen, we can't control them, right? We, we have no control over them. But what we do have control over is how we respond. That's the R is the response. So... You guys have to choose how you're going to respond. Are you just going to feel sorry for yourselves, feel like you have no control, feel like you just are laying down and giving up? Or you can all come together as a family, put your heads down, go back to work, and keep kicking their asses. See, the, the R, the response, influences the O, which is the outcome. So if you all choose to respond in a positive way, and you all choose to do it together, you'll get the outcome you're looking for tomorrow night. See, when people think of adversity, they, they usually see it as their, their enemy, right? But I'm gonna suggest that, that we treat it as our ally tomorrow night. And you might think like, why, why might that be? But when you're prepared for adversity, and, and I'm gonna encourage you all now to make this decision as a family of how you're going to respond tomorrow when adversity strikes, right? If you're all going to decide right now in this moment that you're gonna respond positively, then you'll be prepared for when that adversity happens tomorrow. And when it does happen, it's just gonna fuel that response. And you're gonna show those MFers down the street that you're not going away that easily. Embrace adversity, respond positively, and you'll get the outcome you're looking for tomorrow. That's what it means to finish. And you know, I wanna leave you guys with a few more things. Um, it obviously goes without saying you know, what, what the East-West game means. Um, especially for it being, you know, for all the marbles, but, but I want to just leave you guys with a couple things to think about. First, leave, leave no doubt and have no regrets, right? You know, my senior year in, in 2018, we, we didn't get it done against them. You know, we, we probably took them lightly. They were down their quarterback and, you know, we weren't able to finish the job against them. And that's, it's, it's the biggest regret I've had in my football career. You know, I was fortunate enough to play in conference championship games in college, in a bowl game in college, um, but, but no loss sticks with me like that loss does. So lay it all out on the line for your brothers tomorrow. Have no regrets. And the second is embrace the moment and have fun. Because being in that environment is, is unlike anything. Um, it's unlike anything I experienced in college. Like that's just the greatest environment in, in, in sports is being at the cot on Friday night. Don't let your emotions get too high or too low, but just take a second to embrace the moment and soak it all in and enjoy it because it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun when that, when that first kickoff goes tomorrow night. 
you got a whole lot of people rooting for you. You got a whole lot of people watching you. Um, you know, I really wish I could be there. Um, I'll be traveling, but you know, I'm definitely going to be watching and it's just, it's just going to be a lot of fun. And I can't wait to see you guys fly around and do your thing out there. Um, thank you all again for giving me the chance to speak with you and let's finish the job tomorrow night.